Hey guys, welcome back to the Young Chaos Game video. Today is November 17th, 2022, and Chain Item Shop for today. So we have a pretty massive item shop today. Of course, the main thing being the new bundle which we got today. Let me actually turn that down really quick. Alright, so yeah, new bundle we got today. We have the rats attack a bundle. So 1800 V Bucks for a total of five items. We have Camille with the Vapping Hearts Attack. It's an epic skin, 1500 V Bucks. This skin, of course, or not as of course, but um, you might have already saw this skin in the most recent survey, uh, survey, and it was actually confirmed a few weeks ago, I believe, that this skin was going to be coming. There was a um, like a name in the files that had Rats Attack on it, and in the survey, we were able to clearly see on her shirt it did say that exact name. So we kind of already had an idea that she was coming. I actually did think, and most people thought that this skin was actually going to be coming for Fortnite Mares. Speaking of Fortnite Mares, we do have some Fortnite Mares related skins down here, which we'll go over in a second. But the main focus for today is yeah, this new skin. So we have the default style, and we have the Battle Tail style. So this is a very, very different two styles there. And I do like that there are some like similarities between both styles. You can see. Of course, on the main one, the shirt's in such a way, like, all cut up and everything that you can see. Um, something that kind of resembles the fur. And, of course, the um, hair is, like, pit up into that crazy, crazy style. The, like, um, tie and everything. And then you can see, like, the ear piercings. And, of course, like, the um, shoes are very, very big. Which kind of resembles, like, how the feet look. So, pretty cool there. And there is a built-in emote to transform back into, um, like, from the mouse to the normal. And from the normal to the mouse pretty cool there and yeah once again you could just use that in game to switch between both and the battling is also reactive to elimination so that's pretty nice we have rat tail it's a rare harvesting tool and v bucks i actually kind of like this one it's pretty nice with the black and red i already thought that was good enough but then they added that extra blue that goes throughout it like that um, wave of it very very nice and we have radis rapis it's an uncommon wrapping 300 v bucks pretty nice wrapping there and for buying the bundle, you get the uncommon loading screen, that Streets Rat. Pretty cool artwork there. And you can buy everything else separate. We have Raptor returning with the Bapling Raptor scal uh, Satchel. It's a legendary skin, 2000 V-Bucks, with a very nice secondary glow style. We have Velo City with the Bapling Bomber Bag, a legendary skin, 2000 V-Bucks, with a pretty newer and flight night, uh, flight mare style. So, pretty cool there. And we have uh, Assault Bomber returning, an Epic Glider, 1200 V-Bucks. Party Animal, a Slurp Series Harvesting Tool, 1500 V-Bucks. Focus with the Bapling Chup Pack, it's a rare skin, 1200 V-Bucks, a very popular skin here. Fixation, a rare Harvesting Tool, 800 V-Bucks. And then we have Order Remnant returning, it's rare often, 800 V-Bucks. We got this one earlier this season, so pretty cool to see this skin already back. We have Svenja, it's a rare often, 800 V-Bucks, so very similar to IO. We had this returning or coming out when the other IO skin first came out, so pretty cool there and has four different styles to change the colors from the default one um i guess you could call this one like the green one then we have a gray red and yellow pretty nice customization there we've got bomb with the bathroom takeout it's an epic tip 1500 v bucks with a very very lovely secondary stock here great there and we have hot house with bathroom tomcom and epic skin 1500 v bucks not as big of a fan as the secondary stock for this skin but so not bad we have grill count and rare harvesting to 800 v bucks Rusty Roller, a rare harvesting tool, Ainge V-Bucks. And we have a Pathfinder, which its icon is pretty much a jump scare there. Very close up. Don't know how I feel about that, but it's an uncommon off of Ainge V-Bucks. Very basic skin here. This one's, yeah, very, very basic. Season 1, by the way. And we have Dread Fate Retreat with the Bapin Dread Shield. It's an epic skin fit, 1800 V-Bucks, actually. So pretty expensive here. Almost 2,000 V-Bucks. But that is because the skin comes with the harvesting tool's dead, uh, Dread Strike dead strikers there we go and it's an epic harvesting tool and it has a reactivity with the battling so if both of them are equipped once you pull out the harvesting tool in game it will come off of the battling so not bad we have clean cut and then come the harvesting tool 500 v bucks not a bad uh, not a bad harvesting tool here jiggle jiggle it's an icon series emote 500 v bucks and then we have wiggle retaining a rare emote 500 v bucks hang on and then come out 200 v bucks and then down here we have um, two, or I guess three rows. We have the more offers with the Underland Nexus bundle and the Music Thing bundle. So these, if you already didn't know, they came out a few weeks ago during the Fortnite Mares event. So pretty cool to see them here. I thought they were going to be exclusive to Fortnite Mares and we weren't going to see them until another year. But very, very glad to see them back in I'm Shop because they're pretty cool skins. So in the Underland Nexus bundle... It's 1900 V-Bucks for a total of uh, 6 items, or I guess 7 if you're um, counting the emotes. 
So we have Ava with the Bapling Tara's Heart. It's a rare skin 1200 V-Bucks or 1500 V-Bucks actually. The Bapling's rare for some reason. Um, so yeah, this skin does have two very, very different styles and a reactivity and a transformation. So there's a lot to the skin. So we have the default style and the Tara style. Very, very cool styles here. Do like that Tara style, but the first one is still not bad. And then there's a build and emote ready up. It's an epic build and emote. And this is what transforms you between the first default style to the Tara style. And then the battling is also reactive to eliminations. And then it says the skin is reactive somehow. It does not uh, specify how it is, but it is somehow. So pretty cool there. And then we have Ava's Ravers. It's a rare heart skin for 800 V-Bucks. Nexus Counterpart. It's a rare glider, a rare wrapping 500 V-Bucks. Pretty cool wrapping there. And it's also reactive. Doesn't say how once again, but it's reactive pretty cool and if we're buying the bundle you get two loading screens so most of the time we only get one but instead this time we get two which isn't bad at all we have ava adrift it's an uncommon loading screen pretty cool there very very colorful and we have double life an uncommon loading screen my personal favorite out of the two it's not bad and then you can buy everything else separate there is um quite a bit though that you do get in the bundle kind of for free and we have the Music Fiend bundle, so 1500 V-Bucks for 3 items. We have Remy with the Bapping Diabolic deck. It's a rare skin, 1200 V-Bucks. Very cool secondary style there. And yeah, it's not a bad skin. We have Wicked Axe. It's a rare Harvesting Tool, 800 V-Bucks. One thing to know as well that these, this skin, Bapling, and Harvesting Tool all have the self-shading on it. So that's something. And you can buy them both separate. We have the Customize Your Hero set returning. So... I'm always going to say this, but do not know why these skins are not in the bundle. They are so like similar in, in some of the styles that you could pin on that they should just be in the bundle or a lot cheaper. They're all 1800 V-Bucks, so most likely you're just going to be better off just buying one, maybe two, but no more than that. So yeah, very expensive skins here, but let's go over all the customizability you can with these skins. So instantly when you hit select styles, this is probably one of the most um, yeah, um like impactful section so we have the suit pattern from the default uh, interpret style the victorious bold bionic forge stalwart diamantic and peerless so you could customize that there you can see all the different styles and how they um change the suit pattern anyway the head styles we have five different ones we have hairstyle a hairstyle b hairstyle c half mask and full mask so this is the part where it already like looks completely the same compared to others um, other superheroes that you could just put on the full mask and you cannot tell the difference of which one it is Of course if it's male, it's gonna look a little bit more bulkier than the female But that's it. if you're doing one of the five females with a full mask You can never know which one you're actually using. So yeah, that's why It's just best likely for you to pick your favorite and not anything else other than that So yeah, there's that and then we have the eye mask on and off doesn't very really change anything actually if you have the full mask or half mask however if you do have one of the hairstyles so you can of course see that there and you will be able to change the color of that and the belt which you can turn on and off if you like and then we have the primary suit style so we have four different materials from spandex metallic plastic and cloth pretty nice there and then we have the primary color we have so so many different colors you can choose from you know, very nice selection here there is one thing to note though and that is if um you do decide to pick any of the dark colors like black white um silver not dark so just um very basic colors right here so white um silver or black and when you go to the secondary suit style which is another style over here you cannot double up on black and black or like uh you can get a silver and black which get, does get pretty dark but it's still nerfed more nerfed than what it was in the past so Pretty cool there and kind of disappointing, but it's still very nice that they actually addressed the main issue with these skins. And we have the eye effects. You can turn that on and off once again, or actually no, it will affect every head style. So you cannot like hide this anyway, so, um, but you can take it on or off. However, there still is that glow on the um, eye color and you can actually take that off over here. If you go to the eye color, you can have in one of these like glowing um, colors, or you could just go on to the default one, which is just like human eyes. And then we have the uh, skin tint color from lime green, moss green, baby blue, steel blue, slate blue, twilight pink, and red. Don't know why there's like four different shades of blue there, but lots of blue. And then of course you could just change that to the default human skin color. And then we have the hair tint. So many, many different colors here, just as many as like the primary suits. So do like that. And then you can take all of that off. And then one of the most important things on the skin is the stickers that you can pin on. So these stickers pretty much are your emoticons you currently have. So you could flex some old ones or just some of your favorite ones. Very, very nice there. It could go 
with your whole like uh like setup you have there or something completely different very very nice there and you could just take that off if you wouldn't want any on the front or back of the skin so very customizable skins here and then each of the skins do have something a little bit different and that is the uncoming emoticon it comes with so for the polarity right oh Jolterra, it comes with the uncommon emoticon disguise you will be able to use this as like the sticker on the skin if you do choose to have that on so pretty cool there and then another thing that all the skins have is hero's beacon it's a legendary villain emote and this one it will shine the st current sticker aka the emoticon you have on the on your skin and shine up into the sky pretty cool there or if you don't have any it will just shine a light which is still fine better than nothing all right now let's quickly go over all the other skins. there's a total of 10 of them so we have dynamo dancer with the fly emoticon we have firebrand with the emoticon acid polarity with web we have a backlash with nightmare and we have the Mighty Volt with Red Cyclo. We have Hunter with the Mighty Spider. And we have Blast Off with Subatomic, Hypersonic, and Bone Dog. And we have Wonderlust with my favorite, the Super Ducky. So, very cool. Very, very nice there. And yeah, pretty expensive there. And we have the Hero Gear Bundle, which isn't as expensive. It's 2,000 V-Bucks for all these items. Um, if you buy them all separately, the bundle is a bit cheaper. So, let's go over these ones because there's some very great ones in here. So, one of the main things to uh, first go over is the harvesting tool. So we have the Phantasmic Pulse, an epic harvesting tool, 1200 V-Bucks. It comes with three different styles you can choose from, from the Cosmetic Edge, Valent Fire, and the Hero's Aura. And then you're able to choose a primary and secondary color to match your skin or go something completely exotic. Very, very nice there. The customizability is pretty great on this harvesting tool. And then we have the Bapling, which is probably one of my most favorite items here. So we have Emoticape. It's a rare Bapling 400 V-Bucks with a blue Cyclo. This is like the starting Emoticon. If you already don't have any Emoticons in your locker, you can just show off this one, which is pretty cool. And it does match the Bapling quite well. So once you hit select styles on the skin, there's three different sections. Let's go over the main one. And that's the primary color. So you have all these different colors to choose from. And this will change the um, like majority of the bapling, which is pretty significant here, as you can see. And then we have the secondary color, which just changes that like little um, clip part on the top. So not as significant, but it's still a nice little um, color that you can add for some extra flavor. And then we have the stickers once again. It's just any emoticon you have in your locker right now. So it can match with your superhero skin or just go something completely different. It's up to you. Very nice there. And then the last item in the bundle, we have Hollow Back. It's a rare baffling 400 V-Bucks with the Uncoming Emoticon Cupcake. This baffling, it doesn't have any styles except for the stickers. So you can just um, like change from all the hundreds and hundreds of um, emoticons you might have in your locker. And yeah, it's very, very nice there. And you can also see a little animation that gets played every so often with it kind of like glitching out a bit. Pretty awesome there. And yeah, you... You, we, you will never get sick of this grappling. It's so nice how many styles you can have. And then you can buy everything else separate. Alright, so that is it for today. Pretty massive item shop. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to subscribe if you guys are new. Give a second hit that bell. Bye.